Miss Puffleduff. One. Miss Puffleduff was a widower. She's making out best she could in this uh, hard-bitten kingdom, hard-bitten kind of isolated kingdom uh, in the northern reaches of uh, of the world. Um, see, I'm gonna have to work on my um. Is making a hard, you know, making making the best of it in this hard-bitten kind of medieval world in in the north in the northern climes. She she raised she's raising her son um pd to be uh, a good a good boy um it turn it, she is a widower she miss puffleduff is a widower because there was an attack by uh barbarians even further north one at one point and they mortally wounded her husband and in his dying breath uh that her husband made her promise that she wouldn't she would give up uh, a life uh, she wouldn't go back to a life of violence for both Miss Puffleduff and um, and and her husband. They had met as soldiers, and um, but they had, they had met and made a love kind of made a love match with each other, and decided, you know, if we're going to have children, we don't want them to be born into the same sort of violence that we had. So, in his dying breath, he makes her promise not to return to that life of violence, not to go off and like, you know, try and get revenge on the barbarians, but in, in uh, rather, you know, raise little Petey, their child, their, their little boy as, you know, to be a good boy who, you know, minds, minds his mother, uh, and who, whose first instinct isn't just always to reach for the sword. They, they, they tend to their little, their little garden. They hunt in the woods they do all that stuff, but, you know, try and be, try and be, uh, just a happy family who's not out there seeking blood vengeance every day, who's, who's not uh, making their living by, um, killing, killing, uh, other human being, uh, other fellow human beings. So that is how we start the story of Mrs. Puffleduff.